Welcome to Tech Shorts, a collection of hints, tips, and tricks to make you a more effective ServiceNow developer. I'm Chuck Tomasi. In this video, I'm going to show you how the safety application can benefit from incoming sensor information from around the organization. Up until now, the safety application I built for our organization has been driven by people filling in a form to report an issue. Recently, we installed some temperature and humidity sensors in the manufacturing test facility. These measure the environment on very precise and expensive pieces of equipment. If the temperature gets over a certain point, it can represent a safety hazard as well as potential lost revenue and equipment. I'm going to use MetricBase, a product built into the Now platform, to create a trigger. If the conditions on the trigger are met, the system will automatically create a safety issue so the safety department can address it. This table shows our sensors for a confidential project known as Mars Miner. These sensors report the temperature and humidity once every minute. Clearly, one of these sensors is in need of service, which is okay right now because that test equipment is currently offline. If I take a look at sensor 1, I can see that it has a fairly consistent temperature range with a few spikes. These spikes are concerning, especially when I zoom in closer on the timeline. The Mars Miner team tells me that there is a risk of danger if the temperature exceeds 25.0 C. I'm going to go to Metric Base, Trigger Definitions, and tell ServiceNow to alert me if the condition is met. I'll create a new trigger and call it Mars Miner Over Temp. The table is the Mars Miner sensor information where the sensors have been logging their information for quite some time. And of the two metrics being logged, I'll watch out for the temperature. Of course, a description to help me remember why I created this when I look at it in the future. In the script field is the action I want to take when the threshold is hit. This is where I create the safety issue. This should look pretty familiar if you've already watched the Tech Shorts episodes on manual triggers, script debugger, and advanced business rules. This line is where I get the sensor name and save it in a variable for later. These two lines calculate the due date five minutes from the time the trigger was hit. And here's where I use Glide Record on the safety issue table to create a record. These lines set the field values for category, open by, short description and description, both including the sensor name I saved in the line above, due date, and priority. The insert line does the actual record creation in the safety issue table, which starts the whole safety issue process. And when I save this record, I get this list on the bottom to define my trigger levels. I only need one, so I'll put that here in the level field. And set the trigger level condition greater than 25.0 and submit that record. Now our trigger is complete. All I need to do is wait and see if the temperature exceeds the threshold defined and trips the trigger. And coincidentally, in a few minutes, sensor 3 has crept up beyond the threshold I defined. Here's a safety issue to let the team know that they need to get to work. With metric base, I can collect lots of information from sensors around the organization and leverage it to automatically trigger actions. My safety app just got a big assist from the machines in a whole different department. And the great part is, that this is all on the same platform. The sensors are sending information to the same database that the metric-based triggers are using to create the safety issue records. And that goes for any other ServiceNow applications that you've built or purchased. There's no expensive and brittle integrations to create and maintain. You can find out more about MetricBase along with any other references or code mentioned in this series at the links listed here. I also invite you to visit developer.servicenow.com to get a free developer instance, to try the concepts demonstrated in this video, and learn more about building business applications fast on ServiceNow. Be sure to watch the other videos in this series to be a more effective ServiceNow developer. Thanks for watching.